M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. Big thanks to Hiroshi from Kenwood, Japan for helping me to set this up. So we've got the Digipeter working and we're just in a test situation here. So I'm gonna show it working, then I'm gonna show you my settings and you can have a go yourself. So obviously the 74 in the middle, the brand new D75 with the new Digipeter function. So let's just press beacon here on the 74 and what's gonna happen is it's gonna transmit APRS to the 75, which is gonna retransmit it to every one that's in range, if you've got an external antenna, ETC, and my FT5D will also receive it. And, and then it will just, it's almost like a repeater, so digipeater. So if you put it on a hill, and someone's at the bottom of the hill, and they send their APRS packets to this device, it's gonna retransmit and help keep the, the network connected via APRS and packet. So let's just press beacon now, and you'll listen out, because it all you'll hear it, you'll hear this radio transmit, then this one retransmit. And that's the key thing that the D74 cannot retransmit. So here goes. See that? That transmits. See, take note of the wide one, wide two, and all that kind of stuff. And then it redoes it. And you can set this to automatically do this. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing you wanna do is get both your radios into APRS mode. We'll go to, if you start off in dual band, like so, we'll start off from the beginning. We'll come out of APRS by going F5, twice F5. But that's the way you select APRS is F5, F5. And you've turned it off now. And then, so, first thing you want to do is get it into single mode, and we're going to be using it on the B band, okay? So we'll go F, A, B, and that's single mode. F, A, B. And we're on the B band, and if we just show you the A band, there's A band. Go into normal mode, that's the digital at the moment. A band. And when you're in VFO, you can select digital, look. Just remember that, that you're only going to get DR mode if you're to start with in, v in VFO mode, which is number one, number two is memory. So anyway, back to B band, so we go A, B, A, B. Okay, then we're gonna hit enter to type 144800 or in the USA 144390. Enter 144800. Let's do that again, enter 144800. That's on both radios. Then select the mode FM, okay? The mode button is here. It's the same on both radios. FM there, you cycle through, but you want FM. And remember, on the B band is where you can select LSB, USB, and CW, and AM, and all that. Remember that, because on the A band, it's just AM, FM, and, D and sorry, just digital and FM. And if we're lucky, we'll get a, a GPS lock, but at the moment, we haven't got one, so we're going to have to rely on a manual, manual, location otherwise it's not going to work so to get manual location you go menu and up to gps select select basic settings and then you can turn on gps because hopefully we'll get a lock soon and then you can go down one and see it says my position don't press enter press the right button and it go it switches to my position and now with the very top knob yeah, you can click it back one to choose GPS when you get a lock, and then you select use, but we haven't got that, so we're gonna have to click it forward uh, and just leave it on manual position that we type in by scrolling down, look. Pressing enter and scrolling down, just type your position. And then to go back, just press the back button there, and then we can just go back out now. Keep going back and then press menu. So we've set that up and Hopefully we've got the same on the 74. Now we'll go to the APRS menu. So we'll go menu across APRS. And we're gonna go into basic settings and important, we need to get our call sign in there, press enter. Okay, M0FXB-7. And on that one, I think I've done dash six. So we'll go back, keep going down. You've got person in service status tx packet path data speed data band b 
B, that's why we're using the B band look. Goes back. A PRS lock. So that's everything as normal. And that's really pretty much the same settings as what you'd have on on the 74. If you go menu, just check our position. My position. Yeah, it's manual, I thought it would be. And then we'll go to menu across APRS. Same settings, but just different number. We've got dash five going down. Okay. Right, so we're all set APRS wise. To turn APRS on now, we go F, then five. Okay, that's on. The 12, I think, means 1200 board rate, 12600, 12, but it's 1200 board rate. F5, you go once, it says APRS, you go twice, it says KISS, which is TNC. So we'll go F again, F again, number five. Now we're going to tell it how we want to transmit. So on both radios, we're going to go menu, APRS, down one to beacon TX control, enter. And the method I've chose, you go enter, I just chose manual. And if you do manual on both, then you just press number six. There's no F button, you just press six and, and you'll get a, you know, it's just TX for everything. You can see I put a message in there already saying ham tech. And it works great and, and you know, I will say that I do love the 74, but the FT5 is a fantastic radio, don't get me wrong. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is just tell it to use the Digipeter. The easiest way to do this is how Hiroshi from Kenwood, uh, Japan, told me. Type 580, so we're going to go menu. Whenever you type met, tap menu, you can type a, a menu number. Menu 580, and it takes you straight to the Digipeter on or off, and we're just going to select on. You do not have that selection on the 74, okay? So that's on, back, then back out. The next one that was crucial was... 583, so you go menu, 583, and the heading is old digi or UL digi alias, and you have to have this because I think this is telling it where to root everything. So it's wide one dash one, and you can type that in, just go right, you know, go back and forward, turn the knob and select and enter, and you can select letters and numbers, no problem. Okay, so that's set. I didn't set any of the other ones. Now, the only, the only other crucial thing here is that we need to know that this radio is also sending wide one as well. And the same goes for, if I go the FT5D, go APRS, you need to make sure that the digi path is the same as what we just saw, otherwise it's not gonna, not gonna root it. Now, I'm actually gonna save that for a separate video, the full setup with the FT5 using the Kenwood as a digipeter. What we're looking for is the word packet path. So we'll go menu, APRS, basic settings. And look, we're already there because I've just been to it. We'll go up and down and it's packet path. And on the D74, it's 504. So we're gonna enter it and you'll see that it's got new ID and we need to make sure we sorry, new dash one, and we need to make sure we've got use selected, and you select it by pressing here, the AB button. And then the rest is fine, that's default. And the, that, this, this address is default, so you shouldn't have a problem there. So now, if we send a, a beacon TX from the D74 by just pressing beacon, we get the retransmit. Now, if I try and send it from the FT5, in theory, it won't retransmit. Let's see. So you press F. Yeah, see, it didn't retransmit. You only hear one transmission. It, it's transmitting its APRS. Look, Handtech 5 FT5, yeah? It's working fine, working great. If we were out and about, that would all be transmitted all over um, the world if it, if it was in range. But if it was transmitting to this, and this was on a hill, then it's going to get a further local range. Let's just press it one more time. You see the, re the retransmission. Okay, I'm just looking at the um, FT5. I thought I, if I can do it, I will do it. And this is how you do it. The values are actually fixed in the menu. I'll show you on the manual now. So we'll go 
hold down the F, go to APRS, and then 18 is Digipath. These are all fixed values. Number one is actually called, it says it here, wide P1 is off. So if you go to P2, that is called wide 1-1, one one, and that's the one we want. So if we go, if we back out, and I'll show you that on the manual as well, it should retransmit now, one second. So just remember that, because I never knew that, and it's actually a very interesting thing that they've done that. It's all presets. So the moment of truth, let's beacon, and if we hear it zip twice, we know that's worked. So we go F menu, beacon. And it's worked. There you are. So it's now using the Kenwood D75 to retransmit. Thanks very much. Bye for now.